Capricorn, what's going on with you? I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 2nd through the 8th. Wow, there you are, King of Coins. We are tuned in, ladies and gents. I'm going to get an overview of what you're dealing with, what energies you're going to be dealing with this week. And then I'm going to be looking into your specific energy and the energy of whomever it is that you're dealing with, Capricorn. So let's get three more shuffles and tune right in. What's going on with the Capricorn? What is the overall energy that they are going to be dealing with? During this week, I want two more shuffles, all right? Every time I get a little funky here, that's my cue. That's my cue to concentrate harder. The justice, the judgment. All right, look at this. <clears throat> so, major week ahead, guys. Major tra transformations for the better. The Empress. For the better, I'm telling you. The Nine of Coins. All right. Capricorn, flat out. I'm seeing growth, ladies and gents. There's some sort of realization here. There's major balance that's coming into your life that I feel is going to compel you towards a sense of independence, a sense of groundedness, a sense of stepping into your power, ladies and gents. This Empress energy is all about your divine essence. Okay, this is you being balanced. So you male Capricorns, you might as well consider this the Emperor energy. It's like you're in your element. All right, you're in your element, your emotions are grounded, your, your mental state is grounded. You, you're a perfect balance of the masculine and feminine essence of you. All right, you women are in this, this essence where there is this, this uh, balance in regards to your masculine energy. Going out there, persevering your ambitions, accomplishing, conquering goals, conquering yourself. All right, while still being, look at this, while still being in balance with your femininity. Fascinating, ladies and gents. Let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on, ladies and gents. What's going on with this judgment energy? Let's look into this judgment. What is this judgment? The world card. Wow. Guys, there's some sort of cycle that you are completing. There's some sort of ending that is compelling you towards this rebirth. I'm getting this regenerative energy of, you know, the phoenix. Four of swords. Four of wands. I mean, this could be a marriage. we got the ace of, ace of swords in the bottom of the deck. So... Wow, what happened here? Let me look further because this energy of the Phoenix is, you know, obviously comes after a difficult time and the Phoenix burns, disintegrates, pain. However, it regenerates through its own ashes. So this is a rebirth essentially, all right? But why is the Four of, why is the Four of Wands, Jesus, why is the Four of Wands here? This is a, a card of marriage, ladies and gents. Mm, somebody here may be coming into your life. Somebody here may be making a serious approach. I literally, I literally just saw the emperor once again here. So the death. Guys, I'm going to look further here. I'm not necessarily getting the sense of a relationship in the present, but in the past, as what I'm seeing here, prior to this judgment, to this rebirth, there's been a transformation here with the death regarding a relationship. However, whatever change ensued is definitely for the better. It's definitely for the better. All right, let's take a look. <clears throat> Anyways, let's take a look, ladies and gents. What's going on with this Empress energy? What's going on with this Empress energy? I want to look into this Empress. For Capricorn, the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. This is a new. This is you going out, pursuing what it is that you want, which can, in a love reading, it seems as if getting over some sort of defeat, some sort of defeating situation, something that you were down. It seems that you have risen, risen above it. All right. However, I keep getting this independent energy here, Capricorn. So I'm still questioning whether you're you're definitely got a relationship around you. Six of coins. All right. That's what I needed. I needed that clarity here because I, I get a strong sense of independence. Yet this is a love reading. What's going on with the nine of coins? Was talk to me about the nine of coins. I have yet to fully understand this reading, but now it's making sense. Somebody here is wanting to invest in you, Capricorn. Somebody here is wanting to invest. We got the page of coins coming forward here with some sort of decision that this individual has made. And this entails putting effort in regards to moving on from something. You could be getting some sort of emotional messages. This could be something along the lines of an apology, even if it's not direct, a direct apology. It has this essence of comforting or healing, if you will. All right. That's what I'm seeing here. Healing from some sort of turbulent emotions, moving towards stability, putting effort towards attaining stability within the situation. Let's take a look. What is Capricorn's energy towards whomever it is that they got on their mind when it comes to matters of love? 
<clears throat> what is Capricorn's energy towards whomever it is that they are dealing with when it comes to matters of love? Let me lower this shit. <clears throat> so that you guys can see the table. All right. Let's tune into you. What's going on, Capricorn? Guys, I got the AC blowing and I am I'm still hot. It's the goddamn cap, that's what it is. But I, I don't feel like doing my hair and I don't feel like fucking having a bad hair day on camera, so fuck it. Let's see. What is Capricorn's energy towards whomever it is that they're dealing with? The death. The death energy. Transformative energy. Alright, what is it transforming into? What is this transforming into? What is this transforming into? Ooh, fuck, guys. All right, I see that you guys are definitely moving towards a new beginning away from a relationship. That's what I'm seeing here. It's like Capricorn is finally, boom, the full energy, just liberating themselves from some torturous situation here, all right? From a very daunting energy. Hmm. <clears throat> wow, we got the full once again, guys. I literally was at the bottom of the deck, and here it comes on top of the deck. Wanted to come out. I see you breaking free. You're definitely going through a metamorphosis. I mean, this is this is from look at look at this. You see this this white dove? There's a white or oh wait. There's a black crow right here transforming into a white dove. That's the sort of energy that I'm getting from you. It's completely transformative and just in a very positive way, ladies and gents. Just a complete 360. You're coming out of some darkness, ladies and gents. Tell me more. What is their energy towards their person? So you're telling me that they're just moving on. They're moving the hell on to new beginnings. Yeah, you're going after your own success, ladies and gents. I'm not getting the, the sense that you are investing in a relationship. And if you are, it's just not coming out. It's not revealing itself because the theme of this week for you is that you are investing in yourself, picking yourself up, moving towards your success, moving towards New beginnings, moving on from what doesn't serve you and just allowing the, the old to die. That is what I'm saying here. Ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. The difficulty has come to an ending, ladies and gents. So what's going on with the person that you're dealing with? Because you got to fucking pay. You see, I'm telling you, you're doing good. You're in that six of wands energy. Absolute success. All right. This is the same pre empress energy that I picked up. But you got somebody coming towards you. A little page of cups. I mean, a little page of coins. So let's see what this individual is about. What do they got? Who's coming towards Capricorn? <clears throat> let's look into this individual's energy. Who's coming towards Capricorn this week? All right. What external energy is influencing Capricorn's reality when it comes to love? <clears throat> Nine of coins. Okay. Well, we got another, another suitable individual here. Suitable individual. Hmm. Two of swords. What's going on? There's a bit of uncertainty here. A, a sense of... Uh, lacking decision making but that's breaking all right that's this individual is experiencing a sense of hesitancy when it comes to you i'm going to look into that here in just a moment but we got the ace of wands so even if they are confused they're, they're shooting their shot they make it they made a decision here all right the chariot they made a decision and i feel that it's about coming towards you and giving you love capricorn all right or expressing some sort of emotions king of swords flew out of, all right this could be your air sign that you're dealing with tell me more about their energy towards capricorn the king of swords again guys you guys have seen this shit. I'm shuffling and the same cards are just coming out once again. All right. I literally did just do a meditation, 45 minute meditation, and it was fucking mind blowing, ladies and gents. Sometimes, sometimes I work with some intelligences that just take me, take me for a spin, if you will. I know that probably doesn't make sense for you guys. But anyways, guys, we're approaching a new moon, new cycles, new cycles on Monday. I believe so. Well, let me look into this two of swords. What's up with this? So somebody here has just had trouble making a decision here. The emperor hmm, had trouble making a decision. Why is this? Why is this? What's this trouble energy? They don't, they're a bit confused about how to approach the situation. Seven of cups, page of wands. All right. A bit perplexed in regards to what the appropriate message or approach would be here with the page of cups. So... I want to know more. I want to know more. I don't have the fucking clarity. You probably have the clarity. I don't. Okay, four of wands. So clearly this individual was in a period. All right, so this is somebody existent. Somebody here that's already been around your proximity here. And there's been some sort of withdrawn energy. I'm not getting catastrophic energy here. All right, not like you guys had an atrocious fallout. Unless this person is tied to that past that you're moving on from. 
but this is somebody that's taking a break from being around you and they were a bit they have been a bit perplexed in regards to how to come forward and want to communicate with you to re-engage in romance ladies and gents nevertheless this person here is coming about all right this someone here is coming let's look at that ace what's going on with this ace what's going on with this ace ladies and gents the empress that's it somebody here is coming forward because they want to they want to razzle dazzle ladies and gentlemen they want to razzle dazzle tell me about this king of look at okay i want to know about the king of swords that's coming your way boom meaning serious business ladies and gents whomever it is that you're dealing with wants to take this relationship to a higher level of status to a higher level of commitment to a higher level of connection period that is what i'm seeing here for your week all right so let's get one card here i want one card just to summarize what the overall theme if we could summarize your entire week the most prominent energy when it comes to love for capricorn let's get let's get a, a little summary here what is, what is it and then i'm going to be taking this to the extended where i'm going to just deconstruct your individual all right i'm going to look at their future visions of what what they see in the future with you i'm going to look into this individual's actions towards you i'm going to deconstruct that i'm going to deconstruct their feelings for you as well as the near future between you guys but let's get a little summary what is the energy that capricorn let's summarize this let's summarize their week yeah the eight of coins this is all about diligently putting effort on whatever it is that you are focusing on whatever it is that you're applying yourself to you just working and progressing and look even though look at let me talk to you let me tell you something beauty queen even though your focus is on yourself that's exactly what you're doing you're you're coming out of this difficult phase you're coming out of this you know this energy of possibly feeling as if you weren't receiving attention you're just going through a difficult a difficult phase period that shit is coming to an end capricorn all right and while you may agree with this and say yeah i'm my focus i'm not focused on love i'm doing this and that somebody from the past is coming around period and you may this may be a bit unexpected all right so what do you expect when you're looking damn fine what do you expect when you're in this empress energy ladies and gents you're gonna gravitate this this energy i mean with this sort of vibration that you got going on you guys whomever it is that i'm tuning into is most certainly suitable for a mate and that's what happens when you are in your divine essence you're going to attract that other half let's see where this goes i'll see you in the extended or i'll see you guys next time